Hi, my name is Ashley, for those of you who may not know me, and I'll be doing our devotional for today. Uh, the topic is, Where is your treasure? And the verse is going to be Matthew 16, 19 through 21. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now, when reading the scripture, um, I don't think that the Lord is telling us that we can't have anything on earth that's valuable to us or that we can't acquire anything on earth. But I believe when reading this that the Lord is saying that we should live a life that's focused on advancing the kingdom, that's focused on things that have eternal value. There's nothing that we can take with us when we go to heaven uh, from this earth. There's nothing that we can buy. There's nothing that we uh, receive from family members that we can take with us to heaven. But there's things that we can do that have eternal value. We can disciple. We can be disciples. We can set our sights up to things above and not things on this earth. I think this um, devotional goes hand in hand with what Sister Micah was saying um, when we ask ourselves, where is my treasure? I believe that we're also asking ourselves, where are my priorities? What am I prioritizing? Am I making the first things first? Because <laughs> that's where my heart is. That's something that um, in IBC, at IBC, one of our um, teachers there, his name is Brother Brown. It's not Pastor Brown, but Brother Brown, he always said, Am I making the first thing first? We have to make the first thing first. And so I believe if we're not making the Lord first in our lives, then our heart is already in the wrong place. I believe that um, one thing that one of my peers said um, a while ago, she said on Instagram that her and her husband started implementing um, something into their daily lives. And it's so, so valuable. And I, it stuck with me. Um, she said that they started at the end of their day uh, saying to themselves and checking their heart saying, what did I do today that advanced the kingdom? What did I do today that has eternal value? Did I share your word? Did I witness to someone today? Did I show your love to somebody today? And I think that something that pastor says um, is something that we should do on a daily basis that goes hand in hand with this. Am I... Um, exercising my spiritual vitals am i reading your word am i uh praying am i fasting what am i doing that has eternal value i think that when we ask ourselves that then that we can examine our heart and think where is my heart um something that i or another scripture that i think about um, when reading this one is Matthew 15, 7 through 9, where it says, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah's, Isaiah's prophet sigh of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. I don't want to live a life that I think is is for the Lord. I don't want to go to church every Sunday and then get to heaven or get to the uh, judgment seat and the Lord say that my heart was far from him. I want to examine my heart at the end of the day and say, Lord, where am I setting up my treasure? Am I prioritizing you? Am I putting you first in my life? It's not necessarily that wake up every morning and read the word before you even step out of bed, but what am I prioritizing? What am I valuing? Is it eternal things or is it things that is just going to pass away? Things that are temporary just like this earth. I pray that you guys have a good day.